party. Lemon, try to loosen up a little. How can I loosen up? I'm in Connecticut, I haven't eaten, and I'm stressed about an away toilet situation. Do you know how lucky we are? We are in Gavin Velour's home. He was the CEO of Sunstream. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Is this potpourri or chips? Because I'm going to try to eat it. Velour is a god. He was the first man to be on the cover of Fortune and Jet magazine at the same time. Of course, that was back when Jet was actually about Jet ownership. That magazine took a weird turn. These are not chips. Then he fell off the face of the earth, sold Sunstream, and shut himself off from the world. They say he hasn't left his home in almost three years. Well, I hope he shows up for dinner. He's already here. <laughs> Thank you all for coming tonight. Because of my severe agoraphobia and my debilitating wealth, <laughs> I am forced to bring the world to me and host dinners for interesting people from all walks of life, the world of fashion, Society, art collecting and yelling. Why isn't there any good art in here? Come on! Business and historical fiction. Really? What if the Germans had won the war, Lemon? And the arts. I'm glad Jack was able to bring you, Liz. I asked him about you after I saw your photo in the style section of the New York Times. Funny story, I was only wearing that because the fire alarm went off while I was getting a haircut. Well, you look beautiful. And, as always, I keep one chair empty to represent our unfulfilled hopes and dreams. I'm just kidding. Elliot Spitzer's hooker couldn't make it. <laughs> now, I want to send my driver into Manhattan to pick up dessert. Anybody know a good place for cupcakes? I think there's a Macaroon. place... give me a break. I'm on it. 77th in Amsterdam, 68th in Columbus, 125th and President Clinton Boulevard. Also, don't overthink it. Sara Lee, frozen. Unbelievable. Hello? Hey, Liz. It's Gavin Velour. Oh, hi. Uh, listen, I only took that napkin because I wrapped some chicken in it. That's not why I'm calling. I just had a good time with you the other night, and I wondered if you'd like to come out again this Saturday. Are you having another party? No. Oh. Well, this must be what the kids call a booty call. I haven't been out of the house since 2004, and even I know the kids don't call it that anymore. <laughs> so, uh, what do you say? Um, yes, I guess, right? Okay. I'll send a helicopter to take you to the train station. Okay. Bye. What the what? And uh, this is the study. Well, this is interesting. Uh, one of these benches is a priceless work of art, and the other is an ordinary bench from which to admire it. Which one is which? So you just never leave this house? Uh, I'm afraid not. And it does get lonely. I'd be lying if I told you I never danced with a broom. That's nothing. Sometimes to feel like I have company during dinner, I dispute credit card charges on speakerphone. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. I know my situation is complicated, but uh, I really enjoyed your company the other night. I had a great time, too. So, with your agoraphobia, how does this work? Well, it's not easy. We can never leave the house, and we'd just probably sit around all weekend and watch TV. Go on. There's not much else to do up here but eat and read celebrity gossip on the internet and nap the day away. Really? And unfortunately, uh, because of my phobias, we could never be physically intimate. I know. What woman would want all that? Um. <sighs> Gavin, this was wonderful. I really enjoyed watching MTV Canada with you. Yeah. They can't seem to get anything right up there, can they? I hope you'll come back. Maybe next weekend? I'd like that. Me too. Well, I should go. Do you have everything? Do you have your cell phone? Oh, um, no. Oh. Nerds, where is it? Oh, uh, there it is in the other room. Carl, could you get Liz's cell phone for her so I can say a proper goodbye? Thanks, buddy. Anyway, I just... We don't have much time, Liz. What? Look, Liz, I've decided I can trust you, so I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not really an eccentric agoraphobe. I just tell people that so they won't know I'm under house arrest for tax fraud and arson. Or... Ah, the wind must have blown it shut, Carl. I'm searching for the key. Carl's a U.S. Marshal. Come, before they shoot. <gasps> I thought Derek was upstairs. I miscounted the men, Liz. <laughs> 